Hi traders, this should be my main candidate for the day. Tiffany's is here, start is a big gap down, but it's moving up quite strong, maybe reciprocal range. We've got Nike, Tesla, uh, Levi's. I think I'm going to concentrate right now on Tesla because the stock looks like it really wants to come down. Look at this 272 whole number. I want to short it right under. I'm going to take 2000 shares once it comes down under 273. And now did, it just did so. I'm short. Short Tesla, first uh, three minutes of the trading day, and it's under. It's under the lows. Great. Now, I was risking um, approximately a stop at the highs. Here we go at my target now. So, this was more like 80 to $1 stop loss. I need to sit under 271 because I didn't manage to get it at 272. Got it a little bit below, and we just moved under. Great. At my target price right now. I've got almost $1. Any pullback? Well, it did pull back. I got a little bit less than I was hoping for, but um, a nice way to start my day. It did move as much as I anticipated, so good trade in Tesla. Uh, Lulu is down today, just 1.7%. So it's a bit of a risky trade because I don't know if it's uptrending or downtrending, really. But if it's going to come down under 146 here, I like that one. I will be shorting it. Just did. I'm short. Taking 2,000 shares in Lulu. I'm risking approximately 50 cents. So if it's going to move over 146.50, I should be out. Well, Lulu is very close to my stop loss. Um, it hasn't been a good trade. It's my second trade today. If it's going to move over 50, I will be out. And it just did. I'm out. Closed Lulu at uh, the place where I anticipated my stop loss. I'm out of Lulu. I have a losing trade. Nike is trending lower, but I am not interested in going short. Look at the daily. It's quite strong. I'm interested in going long because it's Nike and because people love to buy it when it's down. And I'm expecting a quick pop-up which may not continue much, but I will be buying it over 84.80. So if it's going to pop s slightly higher from here, here we go, now I'm long, 4,000 shares in Nike. Now people have to buy it when it's down, so volume should grow right now and it should pop up and it, da and it does. Just moved up by 20 cents, here we go, $85, good. My target is 85.40. I was risking 40 cents. As you can see that my stop loss should be right here at the 84.40 mark. So I'm trying to get 85.20 and it's just reaching it now. Here we go at my target, taking my partial now. Took my partial almost 40 cents. It was a nice trade. Now I do not trust Nike to continue much further if at all. So I'm keeping a very small size if it's going to continue higher, and it does, it does, it does. Getting ready to sell some more. Selling now another 200 shares, leaving just 100 shares. Well, it moved a little bit more than I anticipated, but I don't really trust it to continue. So I'm just going to be happy with 100 shares. If it's going to continue higher, that's fine. If not, I'm going to have a stop somewhere at the lows, and I just hope it's going to continue. But back to green territory. Tiffany's, I liked Tiffany's earlier because look at how it started. It started with a big gap down, immediately moved up. These are one minute candles and closed the gap. And then it's moving down. But look at all of these bottoming tails. It looks like a reciprocal rage play. It looks like a stock that is moving up. Just close the gap in four or five minutes and probably going to continue. I'm going to buy it over 99.80. Here we go now, just below. I think it's going to go over 80. Just went long now, 2,000 shares of Tiffany's. And again, very nice potential for a super range play. And Tiffany's just did that. It moved higher, and I'm getting ready to take my partial. Now, the thing is, I'm a bit worried here. First of all, this is the first red candle. Second, look at the market. Market just changed direction dramatically. We were moving higher and now we're moving down very strong. So I'm a bit concerned that I'm not going to get to my target with Tiffany's. I'm going to take my partial, make sure I'm going to take my partial here, but smaller size, 1400 shares out of my 2000. I'm going to leave 600 shares 
for a continuation because I still think Tiffany's could continue higher and this looks like a very typical reciprocal range play so I'm keeping 600 shares for some more continuation it looks good now let's talk a little bit about the reciprocal range play it hasn't done it yet but uh, you can see it started at around 98 and moved and closed the gap at around 100 that would be a two dollar approximately two dollar move up and it did that in like six minutes or so so you see this green candle this red candle here it moved up and closed the gap very quickly now look at the daily yesterday it was moving up very strong so today should be a continuation a momentum day when a stock is moving up with that strong momentum and then starting with a gap down it's likely to close the gap and continue higher now look at yesterday big pop-up and today again a green candle and it started with a gap down so that would be the perfect formation for reciprocal range play now it started two points down and it's very very likely to continue two points up that's the reciprocal range so you start it starts down when it moves up very very strong in the first few minutes and it has to happen quickly then it's very likely to double the to double in the same direction and here's the result look at how it happened again a reciprocal range play a stock that you have a reason to believe that will do good today and that is mainly based on the daily and earlier we've seen the daily daily yesterday was great so we've got a fantastic upside momentum which should continue today and then the stock starts today with quite a big gap down just under 98 dollars and then moves up these are five minute candles here so you can see that at the second candle it closed the gap moved up more than two points really closed the gap and as usually happens when the stock is closing the gap it pulled back down here to the area of 99.50 or so that's the place where I was looking to long it because again it has a very good chance of continuing in the same direction when the stock is moving up with that much momentum and that is the whole idea of reciprocal range play then the momentum should usually take it to double the distance meaning it started with a gap down of two points it's probably going to continue up two points and look at the result it really did move to 102.50 approximately so exactly as the gap down we can see that it doubled the distance moved immediately closed the gap at $100 then bounced and continued higher that's the whole idea of a reciprocal range play you take a stock which has an upside momentum if it has it on the daily then that's even better if it does it in the first few minutes throughout the day, training day just like we've seen and that would be your sign then of course you need to look for reversal now look at this reversal right here I don't get in just because it closed the gap and moved up two points you never get in just like that you need a technical formation to move in and what's better than this green candle right here that's the best technical formation I can find and again you let it move up close the gap come down if you get a technical formation you move in what happens if you don't have a technical formation the stock just continues higher then you just don't join you just sit on the fence you don't have to join nobody's forcing you to join you only join if you have a good technical formation then you also have a good technical stop which is approximately this area so look for stocks which are closing the gap real quick and it doesn't matter if it's on the long side or on the short side join them if you have a good technical formation and expect it to double the size the double the move and again that also has to do with market direction so I was a little bit early on taking my partial in this case but market was changing and sometimes when the market changing direction you should take your uh, partial a little bit earlier well that's what happened to me anyway today but of course right now I can see that the end result was exactly as anticipated earlier although the market is still moving down so Tiffany is really has a life of its own today it's not following the market it's not always the case but in this instance I'm very very happy and I'm still holding 100 shares with a great great trade
and I hope that taught you something about uh, reciprocal range plays and uh, how to take them. And if you did like this video, just don't forget to subscribe right over here if you want to get more videos like that. And here's how I'm doing today. I'm still carrying uh, 100 shares. I carried 100 shares from BIB yesterday, which was a great trade. Nine points, as you can see here, just 100 shares. I uh, had a losing trade in Lulu, and then Nike was great, and Tiffany's was very nice, and Tesla was very good, my first trade today. And I'm going to finish up $2,900. Had a great day. Enjoyed my day. And again, uh, subscribe, join us. You can find a link to join us in the live trading room for a free 14-day trial right here on the top. Looking forward to trading with you guys. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.